Yeah, that just flows me to the bottom. I didn't get hurt there, though. Hmm. Curious. What do I do if I fall down here? Get up there. Fall down again. Can I get up there? There we go. Oh, you're... You can't get to me. Oh, that didn't work at all. Come here. Maybe I can get it on the lip over here. No, 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 fall there! No! Damn it. Well, that didn't work. I forgot I can actually climb with this huge boulder. Alright, now let's see if I can get up from here. Oh, damn it. Come on, get up. Get up. Damn it. She stopped there a second ago. There we go. I just had to do it at the right angle. Ooh, some fire arrows. Is that it? Oh, let's see. Coins. That doesn't really help me much, but I found them. Well, crap. Still need to go up the other way. Oh, shut up. Get out of my way. I have no interest in you guys. Oh, there's another one. Excuse me. You missed. Oh, crap. Don't want your bugs. Oh, crap. Oh, this isn't going to end well. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Thank you. I appreciate that. Ow. All right, I'm gonna see if I can bunch them all up, and maybe I have a gas arrow. Have a gas arrow? I want to know if I have a gas arrow. All right. Okay, I have one gas arrow. That's good. Hey, buddy, come here. I'm gonna have something to gas you all. I mean, ask you all. Come here. There are three of you before? Oh, come on. It doesn't matter. Come on. Oh, nah. You can stay. Hey, buddy. Who are you? I'm just running in circles. That's who I am. Hey, watch it. Be nice. There we go. That deals with that. Stuck in the pillar. What was that? Is that you, Buggy? Yeah, that was you. Excuse me, I need to come by. I want to see what's in here. Well, hello. You definitely tell it's the maw now. What's up here? Is this where he stayed? Malik's key! Ha ha! I actually forgot that was even there. <laughs> oh, shut up. I hold the scales in my hands, and they're so cold, so obscene to the touch, and yet they're the only thing that keeps this horrid demon at bay. He's proven invincible. I must protect the scales, yet it would be folly to think my summoned elementals could repel him. I can barely write this, my hands are shaking so. I fear I may have dropped precious writs on my return journey to my lair. But no matter, Truid is dead, and soon Victoria will pay for banishing me. In death, she will know her failure, but only too late, and see the truth of my ways. I will soon return and claim my rightful place as the redeemer of my people. I confess to a small pang of regret in the girl's suffering over the fate of her cousin. A shame to lose such a well-skilled pawn, but her sacrifice has served a greater cause and she will now return to her simple way of life on distant shores. I failed to judge her metal properly, for she lacked the passion to see her mission through to the end. No matter. Her pain is of little consequence now. I had suffered myself in pursuit of the beast to this place, but I am rewarded by my studies. I have learned to control the healing power of the scales, a skill those inept healers fail to master. Soon, my preparation will be complete, and I will be reunited with the Woodsy One. Then these man-fools will honor my master in death, 
since they have failed to do so in life. I must find a way to protect the scales. They are still made of precious earth metal, susceptible to all of its flaws. Now that Truard is dead, I must contemplate a way to seal them from Victoria's grasp, as she will surely try to destroy them. My power grows ever stronger, for I can see the mob bleeding into what was once this ordinary grave outside this window. The lesser rats I have summoned now patrol its perimeter. I can see how the grass and the vines have risen up out of the rock as never before. My influence overwhelms this creation, and soon Victoria will pay for what she has done. Soon the prophecy will come to pass, and all will be set right. The manfuls will pay, and I will return their wasteland of steel and stone to the earth from which it came. The city lies within the palm of my hand. May the woodsy lord grant me blessing and wisdom. Well, there you go. The ma is actually seeping into this place. I don't know why there was two broadhead arrows down here, but whatever. What's up here? I want to see what's up here. Nothing. Okay, well, I can get past the, uh... Buggy down below. There we go. And run the hell out of here before it sees me. Oh, for some odd reason, I can't select my lockpicks. The hell? That's strange. Okay, whatever. Oh, well, I, I, maybe it's because I don't have them. I needed to use the damn key that I just picked up. Uh, okay, it's it's opening. I thought it wasn't, but it is. At least that didn't hurt. I thought it was going to. Okay, well, this is definitely more like the mob. I saw him there, I need to let him pass. Alright, he passed. Ah, there's Malak to the left, and there's his beast. Let's see, I have a concealment potion. Two healing potions. I had a concealing potion, right? I thought I did. I guess I don't. Crap. I could cause a distraction, but I don't know where the scales are yet. Crap. The beast came this way. I didn't want him to come this way. There we go. No, oh, don't fire at me! Oh, there's the scales. Let's go for him. Crap, this is not a good idea. I did not prepare for this. Ow! Stop it! Grab it! Elemental! Elemental! Yeah. Oh crap, it's right behind me. Well, damn. I made it. Okay, so now I know what I need to do. So distraction will definitely work in my favor. I need to prepare for it. Come on. Everybody come out. See what I have wrought. I knock him out. Try to. Knock him out again, we see. Oh crap. That didn't work at all. Run, 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 run. Oop. Nope. 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 Nope, nope, nope. There we go, I destroyed the scales. So leave me alone. And he's already attacking the beast, knowing that it's going to be released. Alright, now all I have to do is kill Malak. I really don't want to, but whatever. It is what it is. I wonder if I can just throw mine out there and... Come here. Why don't you just come here? Come on. Oh, come on. That's not going to kill him. I guess that's why the two arrows were up there. Yep. This is pathetic, really. Come on. Come here. Surprised the mine didn't work, but whatever. You know what? I could probably just use it. 
gas arrow. This is a waste of real arrows. <laughs> this is pathetic, Malik. Oh crap. <laughs> well, that wasn't. Well, that was pathetic on my part, but not his. I forgot about the fire elemental. Now let's try this the proper way. Because I think I'll throw him into the lava. Just like his precious scales. Come here. I don't even have to shoot you. Just one little gas arrow that I almost never use. And then do that. I said and then do that. Go. You're making this difficult, Malik. Fine, we'll, we'll try it over here. Right here. There you go. Gotcha. No. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't know he'd rise up like that. Well, um, how do I get back? <laughs> Seems to be a problem here. There we go. What are my stats? I didn't even find all the loot. There was actually more loot. Not like you can use them anyway. No secrets. There's a body discovered by one of the enemies. Oh no, and I killed one person. Malik, the only person I had to kill. Not bad. Should we pursue her? She could be a great asset to us. No. Leave her be. She has suffered enough, and our plans revolve around the one at this time. So say the glyphs. Sometimes that which is written is read anew. Old eyes seeing clearly in a different light from a different angle. Revealing truths long elusive and hidden. The glyphs encompass all. But understanding can be insufficient. She leaves the city, whole yet with something missing, as the one who left us near his goal. Untouched yet not unchanged, their stories interweave and become as one. So this is how it ends. Were we to know? Did the glyphs foretell it? All is as it was written. The glyphs are unchanged. But now the veil has been lifted and we see what will come. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thief 2X. I think it goes without saying why a lot of people assume that this game is basically an expansion to Thief 2. If DLC was a thing back when Thief 2 came out, you could definitely see how this would kind of be the Blood Dragon to Thief 2. If nobody knows what Blood Dragon was, it was the DLC for Far Cry 3, which was much better than the original game, I, I think. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the fact that a lot of, as you can see right there, a lot of fans of a particular game got together to make a continuation of what we assumed would never be made an expansion to one of the greatest games of all time because looking glass studios had been shut down way before this had started so it came to the fans to continue what we wanted so we put in what we wanted and we kept to the ideals that we wanted we didn't drastically change things like with what happened with the three and to be fair with the three that was not the people making its fault it was the producers that want, that forced them to make it in a certain time frame for consoles. So they weren't Looking Glass Studios. They didn't have the pedigree that Looking Glass Studios did. That's why Thief 3 is not as good as Thief 1 and Thief 2. But that's why this is almost as good as Thief 2. Was because as fans, we knew exactly what made Thief great. And that's what was put into this. And that is why it is one of the best mods I have ever played. Then again, I might be biased, seeing as how I like Thief 2 so much. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Thief 2X. This is Boylag, signing off.
Oh, hi. I thought there were no enemies in this. Hey, hey. You okay? Kind of cool. I'd like. I'd really like to pick up the radio. But... 